Hey everybody, it's Kathy, and I am glad that you're here with me today. I uh, hope you are gonna enjoy my little video. Uh, this video didn't quite come out the way that I thought it was gonna come out or be about what I thought it was gonna be about, but hey, you know, I guess that's the way it was supposed to work out. Anyway, so let me tell you about my day so far. Um, gave the dogs a bath. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I haven't done it in a long, long time, and they stunk. Um, so, gave them a bath. They were not very happy with me, um, but we made it through. And uh, I was sweating like a hog when I got finished with it. Um, so, successfully did that. And um, then, um, just been hanging out. I had to clean up a terrible, terrible mess after I gave the dogs a bath. So, um, tried to clean up their kennel and everything else. And so, nothing, nothing today has just quite worked out the way it was supposed to. I know you have days like that. Uh, we've all got days like that. So, Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. I am going to be sharing a little bit. Today is Valentine's Day, so I hope you had a happy Valentine's Day. And I'm gonna share a little bit about Valentine's Day. And then I am gonna share with you guys some things that I have gotten from shopgoodwill.com. My daughter turned me on to this, and it is an online auction and you can bid for items. Um, and if you are successful and you get the item, you do have to purchase it and you have to pay the shipping and the handling. But I have found some fabulous things with, at some really great prices. So I wanted to share with you guys the things that I bought off of shopgoodwill.com. It's awesome. So hang on and let's get started. Today is Valentine's Day, even though I gave the dogs a bath. Uh, that wasn't a very Valentine-y thing to do, but anyway, it had to be done. Um, but I wanted to share with you a little bit about um, my husband. So this morning, he comes in and he brings me these beautiful roses. I'll show you in just a minute. Um, and I was thinking about that, and I was thinking about him, and uh, we've been married 37 years, which is a long time. Um, but uh, I always told my girls when they were, you know, coming up in the world that you want to get somebody, you know, when you find a guy, you want a guy that's going to treat you like a queen. And so that was always the thing I told them. If he doesn't treat you like a queen, that's it you're done with him. So, um, I have to say, you know, for the most part, I get treated like a queen. Um, and, uh, the thing about Valentine's Day, um, I remember the first Valentine's Day that, uh, I knew Steve and he sent me flowers. So, um, that's a sweet memory from 39 years ago. Um, but, um, the thing about love is you want somebody that's going to love you unconditionally. And I have to say that um, I've been lucky that I found somebody that would love me unconditionally, no matter what. No matter what I say, no matter what I do, no matter what I'm up to, he always loves me unconditionally. And so I appreciate him today on Valentine's Day. So let me show you those roses. So pretty. Got my little candle burning next to them. Beautiful, beautiful roses. He always gives me beautiful flowers for every occasion. So I love my sweet husband. He's a good one. Here's Gertie after the bath. She's not quite trusting me yet. She says, I'm not gonna look at this camera. Uh, what are you gonna do to me next? Let's see what Lily's up to. So here's Lily. 
and Lily did not want me to put her harness back on her. Um, she's still, she's trying to decide if she's gonna forgive me or not. Are you gonna use your steps? Huh? Are you still upset about getting a bath? So traumatizing. See, I'm gonna get up in that chair. Oh, and why I got you over here. Look at this beautiful Afghan. That gorgeous thing was uh, given to me by my daughter. She made it. It's the first one that she's crocheted and I just love it. And when the dogs get up on my lap, we cover up with that and it's been so cozy and nice but uh, that was just such a sweet present. She said, it may not be perfect, but every stitch was made with love. And so I love that, especially on Valentine's Day. So here are some of the things that I have gotten from shopgoodwill.com. And um, this is a little sugar bowl and creamer with a little plate. It's uh, Fitz and Floyd. And I love Fitz and Floyd. I don't even know if they still make it anymore. But um, it had, oh, and here we go. Here is the sugar. And it had a little spoon that went with it. And there was so much packing material when I unpacked it because they really, for the most part, they pack these things fantastically. Um, but I accidentally threw the little spoon away and it was so cute. But anyway, those are um, two little cuties that I got. And um, I'm not sure how much I paid for them, but I generally don't, I don't go for anything on the online auction unless it's a really great price. So those are two things that I really like. Okay, we'll move on to some more. So I love this canister set. It, um, it's one of my favorite things. And, uh, it was from shopgoodwill.com. Um, now this one, I have a thing for canister sets and cookie jars. <laughs> oh, golly. Anything kitcheny I love. But this had uh, one other canister, but it did get broken en route, which made me sad. Um, this one is one of my favorites cabbage with bunnies so cute i've got my tea inside there um it's got that little plate underneath it and i i really didn't pay much at all for that i don't remember how much but i know it wasn't very much and then um this is some of my favorite things the year they're the fitz and floyd ceramics and um, I have some other pieces that belong to my great aunt, but I uh, got this bowl and I just think it's adorable. And this little serving plate. And I'm not one of those people that has to have a completely clean countertop. I mean, I don't want stuff all over the place, but I, I still like to have my little cute decor on my countertops and so I will show you the kitchen countertops at the end of this video so I think that's adorable now I got a set of uh, four of these bowls and they are they were called cereal bowls and they're nice uh, sturdy bowls they're glass but they're also pretty and then I got a this place setting a tin place setting of this china and um, I got the dinner plates, the salad plates, the dessert bowls, the saucers, and the uh, coffee cups. Um, and I think even after ordering this entire set of china, there was only one broken plate. And those were the only two things that I've ever received from um, shopgoodwill.com that have been um, damaged. Just the one little canister and the one little plate. But um, I thought these were pretty. And um, to me, I'll just, you know, I'm 
I love dishes anyway, and I, I would just use these for every day. And then I got an entire set of William Rogers silver plated silverware. Um, it does need to be polished, but I got, um, it was an entire set. It came um, in the, you know, the wooden container, um, but uh, it was kind of funky, so I threw it away. And then I got this teapot, which again, we got some more bunnies and some more cabbages. Just love that stuff, so cute. It's my thing, but I won't use it for tea. I just, I just like it. It's just cute and I like to look at it. And then these are, uh, this is uh, another creamer and sugar bowl, Fitz and Floyd, but I also got the salt and pepper shakers to match. And um, I just love all of this cute stuff. Um, I don't have much luck at my local Goodwill. So this is really awesome because, you know, you've got stuff from all over the United States and they, uh, they submit all these cute things that they've got and then you can bid on them. Usually, you know, they have them for about a week or so for the bidding and, um, but you have to be careful because a lot of people do this and um, if you don't uh, check right before the auction ends for a certain item, somebody may just swipe it up from underneath you and, uh, and get it. I've had a couple of things that I didn't get because of that. Um, but these were the bunnies that I got for my bunny collection. And then here is my favorite. This is a little Lefton bunny, and I think he's precious. I hope you guys enjoyed my little video today and uh, you um, enjoyed looking at all the fabulous cute things that I got on shopgoodwill.com. Um, it's, uh, it's a cool thing to do, you know, if you can't go out and you're stuck at home or your Goodwill doesn't have a lot of really cool stuff, this is a great way to get some amazing things for some really good prices. Um, stuff that's very collectible, it usually costs, you know, the, the auction, it can get pretty high. But, you know, if you were thinking of going to Etsy and purchasing some vintage things, you'd be paying a lot more. So uh, it's a lot of fun to just browse and look for certain certain items that, you know, that you, that you wanna collect or that, that you need. Um, I mean, they have everything in the world. I just kind of focus on, you know, kitchen and home decor kind of stuff. So anyway, I'm just sitting here with my rocker, in my rocker with Miss Gertie. And she smells so lovely now. Um, I hope that you have a great rest of your day. And, um... If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. And um, if you'd subscribe, that would be awesome. If you have any comments or questions, just leave them. I love to respond to those.
Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.